One of the questions that is before us is the question of whether a 20-week limit on abortion is, uh, is, constitution, is constitutional. The entire chain of the United States Supreme Court cases with respect to abortion has one consistent and overriding opinion, and that is that the state has the power to restrict abortions after fetal viability. This holding was contained within Roe versus Wade in that decision in 1973 and upheld throughout the line of cases, including the challenge to our own Abortion Control Act in 1992. Again, let me repeat that. The state has the power to restrict abortions after fetal viability. Looking to other states, Nebraska has had their 20-week limit since 2010, and it has not been challenged. I would assert that this is because those in Nebraska recognize the advancements which have been made in modern fetal medicine. That is, that viability can begin in the 21st week of gestational age. Can all infants survive when born at 21 weeks? No. But that is not the guiding principle that has been provided to us by our United States Supreme Court. Medical journal after medical journal lists survival rates for infants born in their 22nd week from 4.3% in a 2015 American Medical Association article to 9% survival rate in the 2008 British Columbia Medical Journal. The survivability of these infants who are born unusually due to a maternal or a fetal complication, making them an even more vulnerable population than the typical aborted child is based largely on the intervention of the medical providers at the time of the birth. The 2009 American Medical Association's article on the intervention at the border of viability demonstrates that the low survival weight at 22 weeks gestation is more the result of a lack of intervention at a birth rather than the reflection of the health of a child. The Supreme Court approved a ban on abortion at 24 weeks with a medical emergency exception in 1992 in Planned Parenthood versus Casey. The opposition today would have you believe that since 1992, there have been no advancements in fetal or, ma or maternal medical situations which have increased the viability of the unborn child. Today, we simply look to update our laws to reflect modern medical technology, which has improved the viability of the unborn child at earlier gestational ages. So, is a 20-week limit on abortion constitutional? Yes, because the viability of the unborn child is the measure of when the state can intervene to prevent an elective abortion and medical advances in modern science shows us that an unborn child can be viable at 21 weeks. Mr. Speaker, I would urge the members to realize that this bill before us today is constitutional and vote accordingly. Thank you.